Alright. Coming to you from my bed again. Hopefully, uh... It isn't all full of static like it was last time. I apologize for that, because that's really annoying. I watched it back and I could hardly stand it, so... Um... Next question was... Do I get spasms? And the answer is absolutely yes. Close. I also get pop-ups, obviously. Yeah, I'm not going to go there, but... Anyway. Yes, I get spasms. Um, more so, at least it used to be more so, when I had a UTI. Um, I could almost always tell when I had a UTI because my spasms would greatly increase. And um, lately, I don't know what the deal is exactly, but sorry, my nose itches. I think it's because of my stupid beard. My mustache is uh, tickling me. Um, yeah, so lately my, my spasms have been out of control. And I think it's I don't know. Um, I don't know if UTI took a test for that. And I went down and talked to my spinal cord injury doctor in Baltimore. And he said, or he gave me a list of things that I need to go have checked. Um, one of the things that's possibly causing the spasms is that after like the two year mark of your injury, where your scar is, a sac can form, or a cyst, and it can fill with fluid or water or whatever. And if that presses up against your spinal cord, it could cause spasms. So I need to go have a MRI taken of my cervical and thoracic area of my spinal cord to make sure that hasn't happened. Um, What else? I feel like there was something else. I don't know. Other than that, um, I just really have to figure out, I guess, we have to rule that out and then on to the next thing. Figure out what the deal is because uh, my spasms are definitely increased lately as of the past few months than they ever have before. Um, I do take Neurontin or Gabapentin. Excuse me, not Neurontin. I take, uh, well, I do take Neurontin. That's for nerve pain. I take Baclofen. Or I think that's also called Gabapentin. Unless Neurontin is called Gabapentin. But I always get stuff confused on here. You guys probably think I'm a moron. But anyway, we'll just see. I take Baclofen. Um, not a pump. I take it pills orally. I'm on a pretty high dose. And even still, that's not helping my spasms. So. Um, what else I'm going to say with that? I feel like there were other things. Oh, my spasms. Um, I experience the most when I'm being raised up or down in bed um, just my arms and my legs will just go nuts and my whole body will shake it's pretty crazy um, I, I will have random spasms once in a while for the most part it's only uh, it's like touch induced if somebody would grab my knee or I don't know. Lately, it's pretty much if you touch me anywhere, it uh, gives me a spasm. Uh, it's a little dramatic. Not anywhere, everywhere, but in certain places. Um, I guess more like my arms or my legs. It definitely give me a spasm. And if I'm in my wheelchair and uh, say we're out somewhere and I go over a bump or something a little too fast or something, you know. 
I don't re see that there's a bump in the sidewalker, whatever it may be. If I hit that, it could uh, totally like you know just make me spasm, and then just, uh, since I don't have control over my arms or anything, my hands will just fall off the side or in my lap or something. And somebody will have to come help me, meaning my family or something. I don't go out by myself, so. Um, cancel, quit, close, 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 it's always something, um, other than that, that's pretty much what I deal with, uh, I know a few people have asked for videos or not proof, but they just want to see what my spasms look like. And I have yet to do that, and I apologize. Uh, I just need to have someone tape me, and I haven't done that yet. And again, I apologize. It's really not that difficult. I'm just kind of slacking, so. Um, maybe I'll try to work on that here soon. So, hopefully that answers most of your questions about my situation regarding spasms and if not certainly ask me and I will be happy to tell you alright thank you for the question close mouse grid 8 6 2 3 click